So hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Glenn and today we're talking about cleaning coins. Should you clean your coins? Well that will rely on a few factors. So here in front of me we have some low value coins. Uh, these ones pretty much it's up to you. It doesn't matter if you clean it, they're pretty low value. All you can do is just pretty much remove the value from the coin. Uh, but in this lot, we have two types of coins that people generally like to clean. So we have the one with the patina, and this is a natural coin. So that means, what I mean by natural is that the brown that you can see there is a natural process caused by oxygen binding with the copper, and it turns it to a brown color. And you also got tin and zinc in this coin i believe it's zinc can't remember don't take my word for it look it up and they also will change color when they uh, interact with oxygen so that is a nice coin brown and these we don't like to clean if you clean this coin even though it has a low value probably remove the value altogether if it's a higher valued penny or any bronze coin, uh, you pretty much reduce its value. So here we have some other bronze coins. So this is a Ottoman's Egypt coin. So if you are gonna clean this one, uh, these ones are about ten to twenty dollars. Uh, you probably reduce its value to I don't know five dollars or less. So that's a higher value coin that you do not want to clean. So. This one needs to be protecting. And this one, 1943, pretty common year. Uh, so, the low value coins, it is up to you whether you clean them or not. So then we have another type of cleaning. And this one is the removal of this dirt. So this is a normal $2 coin. It's got a lot of crap on it. Uh, pretty much it's not worth worrying about. Even though it is a 1988 with... HH, it makes it $2. 180 million of these were minted, so really not worth. Is it 180 million, 130 million? Uh, I just can't remember the mintage figures because it's just not important, too. Remember, that's why you get coin catalogs. So, this one, if the coin was a higher value, so over a dollar, I would probably consider cleaning it. And I mean over a dollar, but I mean, you know. All these other coins not a two dollar coin because you just go and spend it so this one would not be worth cleaning uh, but if it is I don't know a high grade coin like this 1980 five dollar that was a bit dirty but it's pretty uncirculated this is probably almost uncirculated uh, I would recommend removing the dirt and you can find on the internet ways you can remove it. I would not use anything very harsh, probably a sponge, uh, probably soak it in water. And uh, over time, a long period of time, try and remove the dirt. Uh, so you don't leave scratch marks if you use a scourer or another thing like that. It's too harsh for the coin. Uh, so... That is low value coins. For me, I would put a limit of $10 or less. I would do that too, to clean the coins. Some coins you just can't clean. So here we have a Yugoslav one dinner from 1986. And on this coin, we have some bronze disease, so the green stuff, which you can clean off. Uh, you just Variety of methods, olive oil is one, distilled water is another one. Uh, the internet is your friend. And then we have this here line going down. This is actually the metal changing color. So it's part of the coin and it is hard to remove, almost impossible to remove. You just gonna have to wait for the whole coin to actually uh, start to change color itself and turn into like the penny. So, but this green stuff is pretty much on top of the coin for the moment. 
eventually it will eat into the coin. So this one is a very confusing one. And as you can see on this side, we have the coin changing color in various phases. So that is how coins become darker. And then we have coin of Haiti. So we have one in good condition. We have another one that has what looks like rust on it. The rust is really only associated with iron. And these ones are copper nickel. It's a copper and nickel. So this will be the copper part of the coin changing brown. So then we have another side. This is the reverse because uh, it has the coat of arms. Your versus class is uh, the one with the Duvalier. So this is Baby Doc, the dictator of Haiti at the time. So as you can see, you can get different types of coins with different phases in their life. So this one will probably most likely go all brown and look like a bronze coin. Uh, if you see the people who go and metal detect them when they dig up the coins, when they dig up the copper and nickel coins, a lot of the time it's gone brown. This is basically the way copper and nickel coins are going to go in the future. 75% copper, uh, it's just going to be unavoidable. The nickel will probably also change, but it changes over a longer period of time. And I'm not too sure what colour that changes to. Probably stays the nickel colour, the silver colour. And this does reduce its value of the coin. So this coin here is probably worth 2 or $3. It's probably worth a dollar or less. So that is up to you. You can't get rid of this brown. So it's really no point uh, cleaning these coins. If you have a more valuable coin, so here we have a, this is a copy of a one pound. So this is a silver one. And the reason why it's a copy, because it has imitation Sovereign Kruger. So it doesn't have, that has a Dutch on the actual coin and not English. But if you're gonna clean this one, these coins, if they're original, are worth a few thousand dollars. So I would not clean a coin like this myself. I would take it to a conservator. So a person who has professional knowledge on how to properly clean stuff, that includes coins and also banknotes as well, and get them to do it. It will cost a bit, but in the long term, it's probably better for yourself to do something like that. So don't do these for yourself unless you really know what to do. Or else you're just going to damage the actual coin. And silver. Well, silver you can clean yourself. Uh, this is an Egyptian two piaster. So 0.2 of a pound. And this is 1937. It does have a lot of darkness. So this one, oh, if you're going to clean it, you probably just clean it with a sponge. But in general, people don't like to clean these silver coins. The grade is pretty good. Probably VF or almost EF. Uh, high points actually are quite worn. And here is one in a better condition. Does have some dirt on it. This is the same coin, but it has a die crack and the details are pretty high. So this is probably EF coin. Uh, die crack there, die crack there. So I wouldn't clean this myself. If you clean this, you're just going to reduce its value. So with a die crack, this one's probably worth, I don't know, 20 or $30. But that is basically what you should do to coins. Uh, you need to put a value. So for me, it's $10 or less if uh, I will clean it myself. If it's over $10, then it would depend on the coin. If it's over $50, I just wouldn't clean the coin myself. It's just really not worth it. If you purchase a coin for $50 in the first place, obviously it's worth that. And you can most likely sell it for $50 unless you're pretty desperate. If it's a few thousand dollar coin, then definitely get someone who knows.
what they're doing to do it. Uh, but basically that's the way I run things myself. So let me know down below if you claim coins. Low value coins, I just go knock yourself out, just get a sandblaster, just blast it away. Uh, yeah, you'll destroy it, but anyway, have fun doing it. Thank you very much, and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time. If this video offends you, then uh, bad luck.